Welcome to Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin and the world famous Road America Road Course. This is where BMW has chosen to launch the 2015 BMW M3 and M4. It only happens about every seven years that BMW launches an M3 and some of you purists are going to have a little tough time getting used to the notion of an M4, but this is the very first M4. That's what the coupes are going to be called. There are going to be some other firsts, like electronic power steering, and the V8 is gone. That growl, though, has been replaced by not only some good natural sound, but some good artificial sound, and the combination really seems to work. Performance is a function of power to weight ratio. So what BMW has done is take out about 180 pounds, depending on which M3 or M4 you get from the overall weight of the outgoing model. And they've also replaced the V8 with an inline six twin turbo. The horsepower is up to 425, which is only up about 2%. But the real story is in the torque. It's up over 30% from the outgoing model. And you really notice it on a day like this. It's kind of been raining off and on and going around some of these turns, even in third gear, when you, when you punch it and you shift to fourth, you still get a little of that chirp. That shows you how much torque and just how much lighter this M3 and M4 are. As with any proper race car, this is a rear wheel drive German sport sedan and sport coupe. Starting price is around $63,000 for the sedan, $66,000 uh, for the coupe. BMW tells us their best year in America were about sales of 5,000 units. I actually think they might top that in the next 12 months. This thing is a vehicle that a lot of people have been waiting for. They also tell us that a lot of people that own this, especially younger people under the age of 30, they pretty much live at home and save all their money just so they could drive this. And why not? This thing not only looks great, it drives great. You've got a six-speed manual standard, or for $2,900, you can get the seven-speed twin clutch, which is what we've been driving uh, most of the day today. So there you have it. This is just our first drive. We can't wait to spend a full week with the all-new 2015 M3 and M4. And you know what? I still got a couple of hours of laps. I'm out of here.